everybody, it's Tim with Engadget at CTEC 2012. We're here at the Nissan booth for their Smart Mobility Zero Concept, which they've dubbed NSC 2015. I have to imagine that's kind of a cheeky Star Trek reference, but it's a self-driving Nissan. It can park itself, and you control it with a Galaxy S3 uh, and the Docomo. So I'm going to get in the car, and it's going to drive me around, and hopefully I should not. All right, here we go. I'm going to buckle up just in case. So what we're looking at here is the uh, the smartphone app for um, controlling the aforementioned uh, Nissan smart car. Um, as you can tell, it's running on a uh, Docomo uh, Galaxy S3 here, and at the moment, it's just been parked in front of this uh, crossing, and it's just about to move off away. Now, if we check here, hopefully this little arrow, there you go, and it's just moving. So that takes exactly where it is on this course, and presumably that would go into um, uh, other maps and other software. And at the bottom here you can see these two buttons, one for the camera, obviously integrated into the car, and an alarm for unscrupulous types to try and get in your brand new uh, robot controlled car. So here we go, there's an uh, unscrupulous type taking a look at the car, sticking around. Oh, as you can see there it says, alert, your car detected someone around it. Please check the real-time movie. So that's a notification that will pop up on your phone when this kind of guy is checking it out. Okay, is everyone okay? So then you tap on that camera button and you get a full, wow, a whole panoramic view. And so you can check it's all in real time there. You see the guy? He's going to pop his hood on. Oh. So you can see a full view of all around the car there. Yes, yeah. And then, are you sure? And hopefully, there we go. And he's gone. <laughs> All right, we've just scared away a criminal, the world's slowest criminal, thanks to that powerful alarm system. You can see there are a series of LEDs built into the steering wheel. Uh, presumably to blind anyone who actually attempts to drive this car themselves. We've also got a Galaxy S3 here that's connected and what appears to be mirror link, as you can see it's uh, replicating the um, interface of the phone onto the dashboard itself. But otherwise it's a pretty standard uh, Nissan Leaf interior here and a um, uh, pretty unmodified and reasonably comfortable car to be in. Alright, and now up here on the dash you can see the blinker is going. The blinding LEDs are on on the uh, steering wheel again. And here we go, we're driving away. And we're stopping. Ah, this is a crosswalk, we've stopped that to keep us from uh, running over any pedestrians. So yeah, you might just what will happen. Yeah, if there's a guy behind the wheel yeah. and you press the button to say go, and then does nothing, that's okay from the current rules. So you could have the option where the car would have no one around it, but you could like start and it could kind of come out of park and ready for you to. Jibunga. Ah, uh, right. So yeah, in a place like Disneyland, where there's so many cars. So yeah, um, the application will also come alongside, would arrive alongside when the car arrives. When there's traffic and other cars coming, especially in very small streets, you can find that the car would be able to handle that for you. So either right. from up there, from the last one, to go from next to this one. Ah, you want to be Europe, but especially in Europe. So that's a more promising application than actually full-on robotic cars. So, so yeah, so uh, the idea I'm not sure if you before the idea was that at the moment because of right. the rules of driving, right. you need to have someone behind the wheel. Right. So although you press the button to start right. it, you could leave it to right. like you did. Right. And at the moment they are, uh, they're expanding what the car is capable of driving. Right. Yes, yeah, so they want to get to streets eventually, but they'll be incremental. So there it is, we've survived our drive in the Nissan Smart Mobility Zero. The company thinks that we might be able to see this in production in maybe 2015, 2016, hence the name on the side of the car, but I still like to think it's a Star Trek reference. Uh, it was a nice, easy drive. It showed that the car will stop at pedestrian crossings without running anybody over. It can pull a U-turn on its own, turn into a parking place as well. I have a parking place too. And we saw a demonstration of the security system where you can actually see on your smartphone that someone's breaking into your car and set off the alarm. Uh, this is a very slow uh, criminal in this case, but ultimately uh, you can still stop them and set off the alarm, which is great. Uh, again, we might see this in production in uh, two or three years, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, it's a pretty cool demonstration here at SeaTech 2012.